This is a short movie of Image Pro 6.3 and it's tinting and merging colour channels function. If I just open up a standard monochrome fluorescence image, here we are. I can tint this um, green by simply right clicking and selecting tint green. I've also got options for red and blue, the main colours, but I could also say apply dye tint and I can pick a specific colour or a specific tint. So if I say GFP, if I come down to all the greens, and just say GFP, and it's 470 emits at 508, which we think is that green, and it saves. Now this is a regular 8-bit monochrome image at the moment, even though it's colour, if we save it and reopen it inside Image Pro, it will have the tint applied. But if we save it and try and open it in another package, like paint or another imaging package, it will still be black and white. And that's because it remains 8-bit. So, to make it a colour image, so we can use it in publications, go to Edit and Convert to an RGB24. This makes a new image, which is now 24-bit. To just show you that, if I right-click on the image and go to Information, I can see it's RGB24. OK, what if I had more than one image? I'll just open up the red for this as well, and there is also the blue. So now I have all three colours. So if I now come in and right click on red, the minute I do that, I've now got my green and my red. The minute I've done that, I've created this composite view, which has got the red and the green in it. This is a colour image now. i will just going along and I'll just add in my last image, the blue. And now we can see I have the red, green and blue all in here. And what's nice about this is I could turn off the green or I can say let's make the green brighter and more contrasty and this image will now save as a colour image um, other things I can do nicely now is I could lock all the zooms together using this button and zoom into all of the images at the same time and we can just pan around have a look at what they look like in each individual channel now I'll just close all of these and we'll have a look at how to do this to a movie because it's subtly different. If I open up two movie files, I'm going to open up here. Here are my two movie files. I'm going to right click, make this one red, right click and make this one green. Now, I've got my composite preview, but now it's actually got um, a frame slider. So I can now play through and make sure that that colour setup that I'm using is going to be correct for the whole movie before I press the Make Sequence movie and commit to making a full two-channel colour sequence. And here is now my sequence. So I hit my sequence toolbar and that can play along and they can all play at the same time. Okay, there is one other type of overlay that you can do which is a fluorescence and a colour overlay. And to do this, I'm just going to look at a bright field image and a green and a red. I'm going to open up th all three images. So here is my bright field, here is my red, and here is my green. Let's just zoom them down a bit. Now, to do this, I'm actually going to use, rather than right clicking, I'm actually just going to come in and say Process Color Composite. And now I've got my list of images here. So I'm going to add in the bright field image, just press add, and select it to be white. And then I'm going to add my green image, as green, and my red image, as red. And now I can make my red, maybe more contrasty, and maybe my green, maybe a bit, a bit brighter, or a bit more gamma-y. So something like that. And that's my fluorescence and bright field overlay. Um, and remember that the bright field overlay should also be a 8-bit image as well as the other images, which are obviously fluorescence 8 or 12-bit images. OK, that's great. Um, for more information, please contact your local dealer or local sales office. Thanks very much.